start with the shell. A nice curved line. So then we're going to draw a line coming across like this. It's going to show us where the edge of the turtle shell is. We're going to have a little bit of... So let me draw a little darker so you can see. I'm going to start sketching in my turtle's head. Grab a peek for you're not too far behind me. in an eye. turtle's front legs. Okay, this front leg is going to be a bit like this and then we're going to draw um, some little toes on the end of that. <laughs> they almost look like the fingers if you look really carefully. Look. See how they look like fingers down there? So that's what we're going to draw. That's why I drew this lines to kind of give me a guideline. So I'm just going to sketch in one, two, three, and then four. Okay. We're going to draw some of this turtle shell underneath a little bit. And then we're going to draw another turtle leg, and this turtle leg is going to be coming around in the front a little bit more. So, kind of curving around. And we're going to have some turtle toes again. So he's crawling along there. Can you see it? Okay, so now we've got our basic turtle shape and we need to just start adding some shading and stuff. Okay, so um, the first thing that I want to do is just shade in some darkness and this crevice back inside the shell. Just gonna shade in crevice here. We're gonna add a little bit of shading to this part. shading to his face here. <laughs> I 
And on his legs, he's got some little bumps. going to add a little bit of value to the whole thing and I'm going to put a little bit more value right here on the underneath side. And shade in those little shades as well. Okay, we want to do the same thing up here with his other leg. Um, there's an area that's kind of smooth back here, so we'll just fill that in kind of smooth. But then there's kind of a ridge here, and then there's like a lot of bumps again. So we'll just do bumps again, right? stripy texture going on so we're going to add a little stripy texture right in there we're going to give this area a little bit of shadow as well and then we're going to start decorating the shell the shell for turtles are you'll always find quite a lot of detail on the shell so on this shell i'm going to draw the areas that are going to be light and it's just sketch those out and then I'll shade in the rest. So I've drawn an ornate box turtle and they have a very ornate or very decorative detailed pattern on them. If you want to make your turtle a little different, you can. Creativity is allowed. over here. I can't really see all the, the details that are happening because some of them are starting to go in shadow. So we're just going to sketch in the detail that we can see and the rest the viewer is just going to have to use their imagination. good shell sketch here. Now all I have to do is start filling in with my detail. I want to leave this edge a little bit light so I'm going to draw kind of a, a little bit of an edge here. 
leave it light. And then I'm going to shade in the area around the shapes that I drew in there. So the rest of it's going to be dark. So it's almost like just coloring in a coloring book picture from here. filling in this shell. So it's mostly just dark all the way around on these areas where I didn't draw shape. The shapes, if you want to fill those in with some value, you can just shade them in very lightly and make them light gray. And as it gets to the edge, there's kind of a bit of a shadow, so um, some of the shapes that would Okay, so that's my basic box turtle. Now I want to add a little bit more detail. Okay, so now we need to draw some detail in the background. So um, basically we have a very close up view of this turtle vise, right? This is a very close up. So what would we see around a turtle if we were this close to it? Rocks maybe, what else? Leaves, water maybe. Um, probably some grass. So you can draw any of those things, but you just need to make the rest of the drawing look finished. So I'm going to just draw some blades of grass here in a few places. I am going to sketch in some texture underneath them because he's crawling around through, through um, the grass and on the ground, it's not going to be quite so neat and organized, right? You're going to have just little twigs and grass blades just everywhere. So go ahead and, and make that a little bit more interesting. You don't just leave it plain. I'm going to put a shadow underneath them. I'm not just going to leave them hanging out here in the middle of nothing. So I'm going to put a shadow underneath them.
So I'm just creating a little bit of a shadow there, drawing some detail in the background. Don't just leave it plain, make it interesting. And I could work on this a little bit longer, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up so I can see how you guys did. So in the bottom corner, when you're finished, make sure you put that artist signature, okay? So I'm going to come see how you did.